Hello. Well, these new eBay videos are proving really popular and we're getting lots of orders for them. But we've also had some questions about them. So I thought I'd put together a quick video just to answer some of those questions so that everyone knows the answers. It's not going to be very slick, I'm afraid, because I'm just trying to get it recorded quickly this morning. And I've got my list here so I don't forget anything, rather than just trying to memorise it. So, apologies if I keep looking down at this, but I don't want to forget anything and leave it out. So first of all, what do the videos cover? Well, they cover eBay, and they cover how to buy on eBay and how to sell things on eBay. But it's not just the technical stuff. Now, it does cover the technical things, how to actually list a product for sale and how to bid on something you want to buy, how that works, how you actually pay, or how you get money if you're uh, selling something, how people actually pay you. And as with our other videos, you can actually see on screen how that's all done. You can watch as it's done. And everything's explained in plain language, plain simple English. As Claire does most of it, rather than me on this one. But she explains everything as she's going, so you can see exactly what's happening. So that's the easiest way to learn, because you can watch something and then you can pause the video if you like, and go and try it out. And if you didn't quite understand something, you can come back and go back and watch that bit again as many times as you like. So it does cover all the technical bits that you need to know, but it also covers some other things as well, and this is one of the things that people have been asking about. So it also has advice on how to find things that you're after. If you want to buy something on eBay, there are certain different methods you can use to find the thing that you're after, and to try and find something that you can get a good price for, that you can get reasonably cheaply for what you're getting. And so there's lots of good advice on that in there as well. There's also good advice on the other side, if you want to sell something, there are certain things you can do to try to make sure you get as many people interested as possible, so that there's lots of people bidding and you get a good price. If you list something and you don't do it very well, you might find that only one or two people spot it and you don't get many bids and it goes for much less than it should have done, or maybe even no one sees it and it doesn't sell at all. But if you use the right methods, and they're all explained nice and simply in the videos, then you can get a good price. In fact, there's an example I've got here, only this morning. Um, I bought a foot pump for pumping up tyres on a car because the one I'd had before had broken. And I bought that on eBay, and that saved me £13. I checked the price on Halfords on their website, and the most similar one was £20, and I got it for £7, including delivery. Whereas at Halfords, I would have had to pay extra for delivery, except they didn't have any in stock, so I'd have had to go to a shop, which is a long way away for me. Um, so it was much easier to order it on eBay and it saved me £13, so it was much better all round. And that's the kind of thing that you can do very easily on eBay. It's very easy to go in there. I just went onto the website and typed in uh, foot pump cars and got a selection of them to choose from. Picked the one I wanted and there we go, I've saved £13 and saved quite a bit of time as well. And that's one of the things I want to get across, that there's lots of different things on eBay that you can buy. Almost anything you can imagine is on there. Um, I had a bit of a list here. You can, there are clothes, there are musical instruments, books, cars, tools, kitchen things, all sorts of things. Furniture, almost anything you can imagine. And lots of them you can get cheaper than elsewhere. Uh, another example, Laura in the office was telling me that her dad was redoing their bathroom at home. Uh, and she managed to get him the shower that he wanted, but saved, I can't remember how much it was, but quite a bit of money versus buying the same shower in a shop. And it was a new one, it wasn't a second-hand one. So it was just as good as buying it in the shop, but a bit cheaper. And you can do the same when you're selling things. You can sell all sorts of things on there. So if you've got a few things cluttering around the house that you don't want anymore, again, anything from clothes to musical instruments to all sorts of things, you can sell them on. It's relatively easy to do and doesn't take too much time. That's one of the big things. It's not like setting up a car boot sale that's a lot of effort. You just go on the website, put in some information about it, and there you go. And then you know that it's gone to someone who actually wants it, which is a nice feeling, rather than maybe getting rid of it at a jumble sale where someone picks it up because it's 50p rather than because they really want it, and you get a decent price. So that's some information about eBay. I hope I haven't forgotten everything. I've been glancing down at my list to remember everything, so hopefully I haven't. Um, oh, the one other thing I've got written down here at the very bottom is we do still have some of the free notes left. So if you've read the web page about the eBay videos, you'll know that 
I've also printed just a thousand sets of some extra notes that I've made to go with the videos. And there are only ever going to be a thousand of those. Once they've gone, that's it, there won't be any more. But we do still have some of them left, so if you're interested in ordering, it's a good idea to do it now while we've still got them, or else you might miss out on those notes. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.